Hi there, Gulf Fanatics. Andrew Rice. I've got a special treat for you today. We're out on the Lesson Tee at the Western Savannah Harbour Resort, and I've got perhaps my favourite golfer in the world. My youngest son, Jameson Rice, is joining me. He's home from school. He's a keen golfer. He's a good athlete. He certainly hits the ball further than most of us do, certainly myself included. Uh, but he's got an issue with finesse wedges, and today I'm going to share a cool formula to help you start to control those wedges and start to get them up and down, make some birdies, save some pars. At Pink, our culture of curiosity has been driving innovations for over 60 years, like the new G425 iron, which brings you greater distance without sacrificing the forgiveness and control to play with precision. So Golf Fanatics, what can you learn from this strapping young lad's ability to hit wedges and how can the formula that I'm going to share with each of you today, uh, how can he start to hit better shots? Jameson, you've got three primary wedges. What wedges do you have? Uh, pitching wedge, 58, 52. So he's got a 58 as his most lofted, 52 as his next wedge, and a pitching wedge. You may have something different, but this lesson we're going to focus and key in on your three most lofted wedges. Okay, and so what we've done, we've done a little homework early on and we figured out how far he can hit those full swing wise and then we're going to have a discussion. Okay, and so here's how the formula goes. Your most lofted wedge, Gemma, grab your 58 please. I want you to hit a couple of those. Um, your most lofted wedge, we are going to set the bar at 75% of full swing. So for Jameson, he happens to hit his 58 100 yards. Now remember that distance doesn't matter. Find your distance and we're going to go 75% of that. So hit me if you could, straight towards that black and white flag out there, a 75 yard shot. This is top of the range for your 58. This is the max distance we're going to go with it. Okay, plane missed the runway there, didn't it? Hey, we didn't get that club on the ground. This stuff happens, right? Feet a little closer together. More, closer, 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 okay. That's better, I think that's a little too far. I think you're a little nervous, right? Okay, this is good, I like it. I can make him nervous. Um, carry, carry, no, that went 89. So you've got, to, you've got to bring it in a long ways, okay? A long ways, come on, Eat, get the feet narrower. We've got to learn, and this is the important thing, golf fanatics, is um, all of us have to learn. I know my 58 degree goes 80 yards, and so I shut that baby off at right around 60. I can maybe hit it 85. I shut it off at 60, and so I need to just get a feel as to what 60 yards feels like. That's what we need to work on here. Let's get a feel for what 75 feels like. Feet, closer, come on, get them closer, closer, keep going, keep going. Thank you. Okay, easy now, just a little pitchy shot here. That's better. Okay, that's better. Let's see what that number is. So the club speed's come down. We've got Trackman running here. That's 82. A little shorter, please. Yeah, and I like those feet. When we get the stance narrow, Golf Fanatics, when we get the stance narrow like that, it serves to restrict the size of the backswing. Okay, and so it makes it easier for us to hit shorter shots. Easy, little chip shot here. That's better. Okay, that's better. That's more like it. Maybe a little short, actually. Uh, but we're getting there. Carry, 61 yards. Okay, so somewhere in between. Last one with the 58. Come on, we've got to get a feel for 75. That's more like it. Gemma, well done. That looks perfect. Good, right on our 75 marker out there. Carry. 76, okay, so 76 yards, um, you've got a feel for that. Now, very important, your 52 degree needs to take over. We need to hand off at 75 yards, we need to hand off to the next club. And so, you, we know that with your 52 degree, a full shot goes 125, okay? Long way, I get it, it's further than most of you hit the ball, it's certainly further than I hit the golf ball, but let's just go with the percentages, okay? He's got his full distance, he's going to take 90% of his second most lofted club. 75% of your most lofted, 90% of your second most lofted, and then we allow 100% for your third most lofted, in your case, your pitching wedge, okay? So we need, I would love to see you hit that 125, your 52, I need you to hit it 
what did we say? 110. Okay, come on, show me a 110. Nice, same kind of feel, I think, as what as hitting this shot with a 58. Nice, easy, smooth swing. Let's restrict, limit that setup there. Make a practice swing. Feel like the club's gonna just brush the ground. Just like that. Nice and easy. There we go. Okay, let's see. And it's Shocking to think that an easy swing like that can make the ball go 110. Carry 90, we need a little more, okay? We need a little more. So your 52 is gonna operate, its zone is gonna operate from what? 75 to 110, okay? 75 to 110. Come on, show me another 110er, please. Better, better, getting a feel. We're just calibrating a feel there, carry. 109. I like it. Okay, 109. And so now you're starting to get a sense. It's going to take some practice. Okay, but Golf and Axe, here's the message. Your three most lofted wedges, your most lofted, we're going to go 75% of a full swing. Okay, that's its cutoff. Let's commit to it. We don't hit it beyond there. Your second most lofted club, 90% of a full swing. We're not going to hit it beyond there. For you, that's going to be 75 and less with a 58. It's going to be 75 to 110 with your 52. And then 110 to 150 for the pitching wedge, believe it or not. 110 to 150. And that's going to take some practice to learn how to hit all those different distances. Okay, so that's how I want you to approach your wedges. Golf and Axe, that's how I would like you to approach your wedges. I hope. You've got something from this. He's got his PGA Ocean Course hat on. Lefty, he was there watching Phil in the practice round. Loved it, had a great time. Uh, Jamo, thanks, pal. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching Golf Fanatics. If you do have any comments or questions, leave them below. I hope this formula can help you start to get the ball up and down, save a few pars. Cheers.